So two videos ago, I started a series where I would teach how to make a simple turn-based strategy game. And speaking of strategy games, Project Rifts is a roguelike game where you build a team of heroes to fight threats off the rifts with turn-based strategy combat. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to join the Project Rifts Discord server for more. Now this week, I would like to touch on probably the most basic mechanic of turn-based strategy games. Selection. You will need to be able to select your character or the enemy, and that's what we'll be doing today. By the end, you should have a fully functioning selection system that can detect whether you click the player or not. So you can see in Unity, I have a blank scene without anything inside, and I'm just going to select the main camera and change the background because I don't like this deep blue color. I'm going to change it to something like gray because it's more pleasing to the eye for myself. You can change this to any color you would like, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to quickly create two objects, two sprites. One will, which will be the player, and I'm going to just do this quickly first. I'm going to choose this uh, sprite right here called the input field background because that seems like the best one for me. And I'm going to just make this bigger, and I'm going to add a box collider to it, and a rigid body 2D. And for here, you want to just change it dynamic to kinematic so that it doesn't apply the physics to it and that should be all you need for player and you just want to change the tag to player and over here you can just duplicate this i'm just going to rename player to enemy because it's easier for myself and i've already created enemy tag if you don't know how to do it just click add tag and click the plus button so you want to assign the enemy and enemy tag and that's all you need for this scene and just for clarification i'm just going to um, move the enemy onto the right side and player onto the left side. So now we have two things one's your player and one's your enemy. We want to detect whether you're clicking the player when you click the player, and you want to detect whether you're clicking the enemy when you're clicking the enemy. So to do that, we want to create a script. I'm going to call this selection manager. So once your IDE is loaded up, I'm currently using Writer because Visual Studio seems really slow for me and Writer seems to load sometimes faster, not during recording for some reason because I think I don't think Writer likes to be recorded. So to be to start off, you want to create a position, a mouse position. So I'm going to create a private vector2 variable because we don't need to see these coordinates and also a public layer mask variable. So I can select this in the uh, carrier inspector. So with these two, it's enough to do ray casting. So and you want to create a update method. I'm gonna put this as private because I'm not gonna be accessing this anywhere else. And we want to set the mouse position to equal to the mouse position. So let's change. Let's set that. So mouse position is equal to camera dot main dot screen to world point and then input dot mouse position and that should do and let's just test if this works so if input dot get mouse button down and then put zero to mean left mouse button and then inside you want to put in you want to actually tell them to do the right cast so right Cast. Whoops! I guess I spelled something wrong. Okay, so then I'm gonna put raycast. Hit 2D. Hit is equal to physics. 2D dot raycast. And inside the parentheses, you want to put in the mouse position, which is mouse position as we created up top. A uh, vector two. Dot zero. After that. And also math f dot infinity so that it doesn't have really a limit to how deep it has to be. And also the character layer that we created just now. So it'll only detect whatever it only detect hits if the object has this character layer on it. So like that. Okay, so now we can put if hit dot collider dot tag or dot compare tag, which is a more efficient way of putting tags, is something like player 
then we want to say something like print hit player and go on to the same thing for the enemy so that we know we're detecting different things so if hit dot collider dot compare tag is enemy writer does not like me at the moment enemy then you want to print that it hit enemy just like that so now we want to save this and go back into unity loads and just want to wait for this to load okay so now it's loaded we can't if we hit play now it will not work because we have not assigned this to any of the scripts I'm just going to put this in the main camera because it seems like a pretty reasonable way and here you can even see that it's here. And the fact that we didn't use the layer mask, we can just remove this from our script right away. And everything should work because we have the tags all set up at the beginning so when we click them, because they have a box collider as well, it should detect clicks easily. So now if you hit play, we can see that nothing's happening when I click the player it says hit player and when I hit the enemy it says hit enemy if I hit anything else it doesn't have anything and it says an object reference not equal to an, not equal to anything so what we can do here is probably put something like if you're not hitting anything for example else if hit dot collider is equal to null which means if you're not hitting anything you can just print didn't hit anything and you can just return that and just like that so now selection is working um what we want to do now is the attack because there's different way so in tournament strategy games you're not you have to cancel the attack when you want to stop attacking but you have to select the player if you want to attack so let's say if you didn't click the button that tells you that you want to attack then it shouldn't attack the enemy it gets kind of confusing, but stick with me here. So, what we want to do is first detect whether the player is able to attack. So, let's first create a public bool variable called able to attack, and currently it will do false. And this will only equal to true if you click a button. So, I'm going to create a public void variable called attack. And in this method, you just want to set able to attack to true so able to attack to go to true that's all you want to do in this method that's it next thing you want to do is you want to, whenever you hit the player you want to tell it that you you're able to attack now so i'm going to go here but if able to attack and you hit player and just say player now able to attack just like that or you can say if it's not able to attack you can print player can't attack click the button and put a semicolon in the end and that should make everything work differently for the enemy if let's say well what happened there so, so over here, you want to put in if it is able to attack because now you've selected the player. No, wait, I've got it wrong. So, if it's able to attack, it shouldn't say now able to attack because if you click the player, now you want to change it so that it's not attacking. It gets confusing. So, if it's not able to attack, you want to change able to attack. Wait a minute. Okay, this gets really confusing. So if it's able to attack, then it shouldn't be able to attack. You should say you can't attack your own troop. And if it is not able to attack, then you can say player can now attack. 
And then for the enemy, you want to put if it is able to attack, then print hit. Or we can make it a bit random. So bar uh missed attack per um not percentage. If missed attack equals random dot range. Let's say zero to two. So it's zero and one. Let's switch let's put a switch statement in here and put in missed attack. If missed attack is zero, you wanna say hit and we can break that. And if it is one, you wanna print missed. So it has a bit of random in there. And then if it's not able to attack, then, well, you can't attack, you have not clicked the button. But now, there's one big problem to this. After you have clicked the enemy, while you're able to attack, you're always able to because you haven't changed back to the not attackable. So we wanna, in the end, you want to put an able to attack is equal to false. So that you can, you can, you can't continuously attack the player. And that should make everything all work. Nothing in this code that seems wrong to me for now. So you want to go back and just wait for it to load and it should be all fine. So now the script is loaded. Before we get started though, we want to create a button that will tell us that you can attack. So you want to click the button. I don't, it doesn't matter if it's text mesh pro or not, but I'm just going to create a normal button because it's easier. And I'm just going to change the text to attack. In here, in the button, you want to click on click, add a plus, drag in the camera, because it contains the selection manager script, and selection manager, and click attack. So now if you click play, and wait for it to load, you can see that when I hit the player, I, it says click and now attack. But it shouldn't say this. Because main character does not say it's able to attack. So if I click able to attack, click this, you can't attack your own troop. So so it was working, which means it, when it's not able to attack, when you click the player, it's supposed to say player cannot attack. And when you hit attack and you hit the player, it should say you cannot attack your own troop. Let's try that on the enemy. Let's click that. I missed it. And now if I click this, it says you can't attack, you have you have to click the button. So everything's working, just you can change this up however you want. So it this video was a bit confusing for myself as well. It's a pretty hard topic to explain because it contains a lot of things. I have to go back and forth, back and forth. I can try my best to explain in later episodes, but that's all I can do. The recordings are already almost 20 minutes long. So... Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not already. Every social media on the screen is all available and in the link description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.